Good afternoon, Cubs. I'm Chloe. And I'm Isla. And now for your Cubtastic broadcast. The PE department has started a fundraiser. They are currently charging $1 per student to come into the gym out of the cold. Inside the gym, there are different activities for students to participate in. There will be no refunds, and once the students are in the gym, they must stay there until the bell rings. All proceeds will go towards new PE equipment. If you have any other questions, you may talk to one of the PE teachers. Get delicious orange leaf yogurt every Thursday during lunch. The cost for one cup is only $2. The Cubs Cash store is open every other Friday. Make sure to save your Cubs Cash points and bring your activity card to lunch to get fun prizes. And now for announcements. Ms. Touche is hosting Crafternoons, an after-school cra craft club on Wednesdays after school in room A47. Crafternoons will go until 4.30 p.m. Students must bring their own supplies and projects to work on, but Ms. Touche can help students learn to knit or crochet. We can also look up tutorials if you are beginning knitter slash crocheter and need advice on what kind of materials to bring, feel free to ask Ms. T. Interested in competing on a math and science quiz bowl using buzzers like Jeopardy? If so, come find out about this opportunity Tuesday, January 30th in the auditorium at 3.35 p.m. during prime time. Details about the competition will be explained during this time. Congratulations to the winners of the Spelling Bee, Emily, Fount, Emily Fouts champion and Eel Abate runner-up will come be at regionals February 26th. Great job. Hey Cubs, it's Reagan and now it's time for campus news. Mercedes Hatfield has been dancing for many years and loves it. Let's go to an interview with her on her amazing dance skills. Hey Cubs, it's Hallie Western and I'm here interviewing Mercedes Hatfield on dance. How long have you been dancing? I have been dancing for eight years. What's your favorite type of dance? My favorite type of dance is jazz. And where do you dance? I dance at Julie's Jazzworks Dance Studio. Thanks for that interview, and here's a clip of her dancing. When I'm dancing, yeah, yeah. Middle when I'm dancing, yeah, yeah. And we can do this together. Thanks for showing us your dance skills, and back to the studio. Thanks for that fantastic interview. A rare super, a rare super blue blood moon is when the moon is closer to the Earth than its orbit and appears 14% brighter and is the second full moon that happens in the same calendar month. Also, you may get the opportunity to see a red blue moon. On January 1st, 2018, the first full moon of the month occurred. On January 31st, 2018, the blue blood moon will occur from 3.51 a.m. to 9.08 a.m. The blue moon happens every 150 years. Hey Cubs, I'm Orin, and now it's time for lunch. Lunch will be chicken tacos, refried beans, corn, extreme burrito, fresh express potato bar. Good afternoon, Cubs. I'm Mama, and now it's time for recycling. How many trees are cut down to make a ton of paper? Is it A, 15 trees, B, 24 trees, or is it C, 10 trees, or is it D, 30 trees? <laughs> and the answer is D, 24 trees. Hey, Cubs. It's Brindley, and now for Today in History. On this day, January 30th, 1948, Gandhi was assassinated. He was known for passive resistance and his fight to free India from the British rule. Some of his biggest accomplishments were reorganizing the Indian National Congress, forming the Natal Indian Congress, and attending the Round Table Conference in 1931. Hey Cubs, I'm Kaylee. Now for your most wondrous word power. What does the word Numano Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis mean? Is it A, a long disease form? from the inhalation of silica particles from volcanoes, B, a microscopic disease particle that is the output of molten lava, C, a type of term in science that means study of volcano silica output, or is it D, a, a type of volcano output? And the answer for pneumono ultra microscopic silo volca volcano coniosis is A, a lung disease from the inhalation of silica particles from volcanoes. What's going on, Cubs? I'm Allie, and now it's time for your fantastic brain drain segment. What country hosted the first Olympic Games after World War I? Is it A, France, B, Belgium, C, Italy, or is it D, Germany? And the answer is B, Belgium hosted the first Olympics after World War I. What's up, Cubs? It's Aubrey, and now it's time for Babyface. Who is this darling baby girl? Is it A, Haley Gum, B, Mercedes Hatfield, C, Lily Perry, or is it D, Hallie Western? And the answer is A, Haley Gum. What's crack a Cubs? I'm Abby, and now for birthdays. January 30th, Avante Lagunas. January 31st, 
Emmeline Lawrence, Peyton Levitt, Lexia Mendoza, Nathan Pitts. I'm Kennedy, and now for Where in the World Are We? This place is one of the most photographed peaks in all of America. It's famous for its magnificent reflecting lake and the two peaks on each side of it. Is it A, Maroon Bells, Colorado, B, Elk Lake, Oregon, C, Mount Rainier National Park, Washington, or is it D, Flathead Lake, Montana? And the answer is A, Maroon Bells, Colorado. Bonjour Cubs, I'm Gabe, and now for what's trending. <laughs> Thanks for that fantastic video. Hey Cubs, I'm Ashton, now time for sports. Boys basketball, January 31st, home versus West Minico. February 2nd, O'Leary at Filer, bus leaves at 3 o'clock. Hey Cubs, it's Hallie, and now time for weather. Wednesday's weather will be a high of 35, a low of 22, and cloudy. Hello Cubs, I'm Mason, and now for quote, I learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Maya and Joel. See you later, Cubs. I'm Isla. And I'm Chloe. And, and have, have a great day. day.